Now, solubility rules. So the solubility rules to memorize, uh, they are on our conversion and equation sheet, which I usually have very handy right here. Uh, oh yes, it looks like it fell on the floor, but here it is. These are the same rules that are on your conversion and equation sheet, page two, right under all the ions right there. And uh, best to memorize them starting from one number one and working your way down. Um, and let's just jump right into uh, the types of questions you'll see. It says, are the following compounds soluble and therefore aqueous or insoluble and solid. So that's what we're trying to do. And these are all ionic compounds. And that's all we deal with in this course as far as solubility. So you need to know solubility of ionic compounds. And knowing your ions really helps. Okay, so rule number one, all common compounds of group one and ammonium ions are soluble. I've got my periodic table. That means that anything with a lithium, uh, with a hydrogen too, although that's a non-metal, but metals, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium, I don't think we'll ever see francium in there, are soluble. And that means that uh, just without even going on, I have a group one potassium, that's going to be soluble and therefore aqueous. Number two, I have to, or number two question, I have to deal with number two solubility rules. All nitrates, and I see that I've got a nitrate, and once you determine that it's soluble, you can stop, right? I never even talked about the sulfate, although we could, if you, if you get, keep going, you will get to rule number four eventually. Uh, okay, so, has a nitrate in it, must be soluble, must be aqueous, must dissolve 100%. Uh, must be a strong electrolyte, okay? And let me just say that too. So uh, ionic compounds that do dissolve are strong electrolytes and means that they have these ions just like we were talking about on the last slide that allow things, this solution to conduct electricity. All right, so now let's go for rule number three. So there's no group one or ammonium. There's no nitrates, acetates, perchlorates, or chlorates. Now it says all binary compounds of the halogens other than fluorine. We have chlorine or chloride here. With metals are soluble except those of silver, mercury, and lead. We have a chloride, which is a halogen, a chlorine, and I don't see silver, mercury, or lead, also aqueous. Following along, all right, now we have calcium and carbonate, and you'll have to go all the way down to rule number five, which says, except for rule number one, and rule number one says that all group one and ammoniums are soluble, so except for group one and ammonium, carbonates, hydroxides, oxides, silicates, oxalates, and phosphates are insoluble. So, sodium carbonate would be aqueous and soluble because it's in group one. Calcium carbonate would be a solid, and calcium carbonate by the way, is approximately 95 to 99%, I think 99% actually, of eggshells. And eggshells if you are not soluble in water. Good for the chickens. Magnesium, so okay, so now we're all the way down to rule number six, which says except for rule number one, which are group one and ammonium, and calcium, barium, strontium, magnesium, so there's a few more, Sulfides are insoluble. Magnesium is one of these exceptions. Magnesium sulfide, and this is sulfide, is soluble. Ammonium sulfide, also from the group one, is soluble. But iron sulfide, iron 
uh, three sulfide would be solid. Now we get down to number seven. Number seven says sodium hydroxide. Everything with group one, everything with sodium is soluble. Stop it, rule number one. Strontium hydroxide. Well, strontium is in group two, so we can't use rule number one. We have to come all the way down for rule number five, which says, except for rule number one, hydroxides are insoluble. So insoluble means solid. There's two more here, iron uh, acetate, iron three acetate it turns out. Acetates are rule number two, all acetates are soluble. And this one's got a perchlorate. And here's where knowing your ions and or being able to find them on your nomenclature list, there's my perchlorate, will be able to help. Also soluble, also aqueous. That's a little bit about how to use your solubility rules.